Welcome and welcome back everyone with me Fatina from Ras Aquaculture. Hasn't it been a while since we updated our outdoor pond based shrimp farm? To recap, we have two shrimp ponds but we have only used one of them previously to grow the shrimp. While the shrimp were growing in pond 1, some conditioning and cleaning work was done on pond 2 before we could fully utilize it. What happened to the shrimp in Pond 1 and what is the current status of Pond 2 now that it has been months since the pond cleaning? Keep on watching to find out more. Hello there everyone. We have two ponds at our outdoor shrimp farm which we call Pond 1 and Pond 2 as shown in the video. While the shrimp were growing in Pond 1, we had to condition and clean Pond 2 before we could use it fully. Hundreds of thousands of PLs were stocked into Pond 1 three months ago and are now large enough to be harvested. After harvesting almost five times from Pond 1, we drained nearly half the pond's water out so that we could harvest the remaining shrimp more easily. The water in the shallow part of the pond is now shallow enough to reach our knees but deep enough in the middle of the pond. Last week, we went to the farm to harvest the shrimp mostly with long trap nets but also with a net. Besides other shrimp species and small crabs trapped in the net, we harvested a large amount of shrimp from the pond. My colleague can be seen here sorting the small unknown shrimp species, crab and fish from the white shrimp because we will only sell the white shrimp to an aquaculture processing facility. The unknown shrimp species are packed and brought to the crab farm where they will be fed to the crabs. After 3 months, the shrimp are about the size of our hand and weigh about 30 grams each. Because it was nearly noon and the temperature was high, we had to make sure the water for the shrimp was cool enough by putting bags of ice in the container. The aeration system was also turned on to keep the shrimp alive. Some of the shrimp from the previous harvest died while we were harvesting more in the pond. As a result, we had to separate the dead shrimp from the live shrimp so that they could be processed more easily at the facility. Ice was added to keep the dead shrimp fresh during the transport to the facility. We noticed a thick layer of sludge in the middle of Pond 1, which we believe is caused by uneaten and leftover feed as well as shrimp feces and waste. Due to the placement of the aerators, the water circulation is only focused around the pond. Thus, the settlement in the center is not evenly mixed, causing it to accumulate in the middle of the pond. We do, however, have a submersible pump that sucks the sludge from the pond. Submersible sludge pump is designed to pump thick mud and other viscous liquid-solid mixtures. That concludes the updates for Pond 1. Moving on to the pond next to it, Pond 2, which we have been cleaning for months. We have already filled the pond with the water from the river. It is approximately 5 feet deep now and may be deeper in the center of the pond. 200,000 PLs were recently stocked in the pond so they haven't grown large enough at the moment. Chlorine, one of the most commonly used chemicals in aquaculture, was used to disinfect Pond 2 by killing shrimp pathogens such as bacteria, viruses and virus vectors. We added 100 kilograms of chlorine with 30 ppm to the pond based on its water volume. Immoderate use of chlorine can be harmful to both culture species and humans. To avoid direct contact with the chlorine, we wear hand gloves and face masks. After chlorination, the aerators must be opened for 3 to 4 days to reduce the residual chlorine content in the pond. To neutralize the chlorine, we can also use theosulfate. 
To summarize, we drained out the water from Pond 1 for a massive shrimp harvest and stocked hundreds of thousands of PLs in Pond 2 before applying a chemical which is chlorine to the pond. Keep an eye out for our next update on shrimp size in Pond 2 of our outdoor pond-based shrimp farm. And that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do check out the description box below for our free ebooks and water quality SOP checklist. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.